and machinery are hitting the shores of Puerto Rico and thank goodness a flotilla of Navy ships and thousands of military personnel are arriving to help hand out food and water, fuel and medicine to an island ravaged last week by Hurricane Maria. The trucks, Humvees and bulldozers will be especially helpful. CBS News reports there are enough supplies to help more than half a million people already sitting at the port in San Juan, but there are not nearly enough trucks and drivers to move it out. If you are a bus driver and have equipment, just come to where the, the diesel is being dispensed. Just come where the food is being dispensed in the, in the ports. We're, uh, you know, making every effort so that everybody knows this. President Trump plans to personally inspect the relief effort when he visits the island next week. Meanwhile, back in our area, an emotional departure for some of D.C.'s finest. The D.C. Air National Guard loaded up a plane with 3,000 pounds of supplies. But perhaps even more important than that, are the people who will deliver them. WUSA 9's Evan Kozlov has the story from Joint Base Andrews. The engine's roar can be pretty overwhelming from up close, but you don't need to hear to know something pretty special is happening at this Air Force base. Box by box, this plane is being loaded up with supplies for Puerto Rico. You know, the emotions usually come afterwards. These are the two pilots, Greg Boney and Brandon Splon, both of the D.C. Air National Guard. The gravity of this upcoming trip is not lost on them. You know, you'll be able to see uh, the destruction from uh, overhead flying in. Doing a mission like this, being able to deliver aid and kind of go down there and, and help the people that are uh, directly affected by the hurricane uh, is special. You see, uh, see the effects of uh, what the hurricane really you know, has done to the island. From the pilots to the flight engineers to the, uh, the flight attendants, uh, we're all excited to do it and, and move the mission. But this flight has some special cargo. On board are 10 D.C. police officers with an important connection to the island. It's home. It's home. Back home. You know, nothing like home. Jose Gonzalez is one of the officers. He was born and raised on the island. He was even a police officer there before he came to the district. It's, it's, it's hard when you're here. You, don't, you can, can't do much from here. You know, you can't collect items or all this. But when you're out there and you hands on, it's a totally different story. So I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, we can help somebody. So after some photos and goodbyes, the crew made their way on board, leaving one home for another to offer their support. From Joint Base Andrews, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. And we just got this video into the newsroom right here of the officers and others getting off the plane in Puerto Rico. The pilots are returning today. The officers will be there as long as they are needed.